Every year, students at Wiley H. Bates Middle learn the story behind their school's namesake a man born into slavery in the 1800s who later became a businessman and civic leader who helped shape Annapolis. We find it very important. There's deep history here in Annapolis and we think that it ties them to the community. But last year, staff at Bates Middle School decided to go deeper to not just teach students about Bates' story, but to help them share their own stories. If you remember being in middle school, middle school is hard. Um, kids can be very mean to each other. We thought, what a great idea if they knew more about each other, that maybe they would have a little bit more empathy. That's how the Bates Story Project was born. Staff and students participated in week-long arts workshops to help them express a part of their identity in a creative way through dance, songwriting, collage, spoken word, and more. I think the arts let you talk about things that maybe are difficult um, in a much easier way. At the end of the process, students shared their stories through their art forms and learned just how much their stories intertwine. Seeing other people's lives and how much I connected with everybody else, it was a shock and it impacted me. I really feel like I was connected to a lot of the people at the school because I got to hear what they were going through as a child or what they're going through now. That first glance when I looked at them, I wouldn't have known that at all. The whole process from start to finish is captured in a documentary produced by 410 Films. When we were filming, I never really thought that I'd be like crying at multiple kids interviews in middle school. Now Bates Middle School wants you to come watch each of those interviews and hear each of their stories with the hopes that they inspire you. We hope that people start to walk away and ask people, so what's your story? And you start to learn from them in order to build those connections wherever you are. Bates Middle School will share their documentary with the community Thursday at 6 p.m. and at 8 p.m. We'll put the link where you can get your free ticket on our website. In Annapolis, I'm Brianna Ross, WBAL-TV 11 News.